Hi folks, uh, back to the £130 Fabriano Studio practice paper. Uh, I'll just, just looking on my bookshelf and I came across this one. I did that outside, uh, outside or inside our trailer tent. Trailer tent. Uh, on Watergate Bay. We, we were walking on the beach. Let's see if I can just connect. Oh, I'll put it there. We were walking along the beach on a very misty day with friends, a couple of friends. They had their trailer with them as well. But we went camp, camp to, well, we went many times to Watergate Bay, overlooking Watergate Bay, <coughs> Cornwall. And we could just about see a couple of fishermen on the rocks. As we were walking along the beach, the tide was right out. But this was, well, I might have imagined that, but I probably took a photograph or did it from memory. But the long and short of it is, I, I did about 10, 15 of these, and I put them up for sale outside the trailer. But somebody complained, because on a camping and caravanning club site, no commercial activity is allowed. And somebody put the uh, boot in, so that was the end of that. Uh, but it just reminds me, uh, the colours I used, ultramarine, burnt sienna, and a bit of bit of uh, yellow ochre, I think. That's about it. That's all you need. And a bit of hardboard. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that. I just I forgot I had this one. Uh, I'll keep it fairly safe. It's got a, it's got a little chip out of it because it's been badly abused over the years. I might at some stage just fill that up. Anyway, as, a, as a, a reminder of what I used to do 25 years ago, uh, haven't improved. I mean, you never get, you never ever get as good as you want to be, do you? That's the uh, the thing. If you if it was that easy, everybody would do it. Although many people try and they don't persevere, they quit before they when well, they can't do it. If, without realising that it's a craft like everything else. You you have to learn to do it by practice and practice and practice. Now this is this is the practice paper. There's my palette, cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey and burnt sienna. The day is just starting to turn into a bit of a summer day. It was quite a nice day yesterday, very windy. But I always give you a weather forecast or an update because it does influence uh, my skies. But anyway, enough yet. That's weather paper. Get a good way. I'm going to I'll do a sort of watery scene. Or shall I? Shall I do a? Shall I do a? Uh, I don't know. What shall I do? Emails. I sent a painting to America to a friend some weeks ago, but it hasn't arrived. He reckons it's lost, but uh, it wasn't tracked, so not much I can do. I can't say to the post office that it was worth a thousand pounds. Right, okay, so a bit of a bit of a sky, so let's put a bit of raw sienna. Good bit of raw sienna. A bit of bit of red. Well let's have a bit of bit of burnt umber as well. Bit of a warm sky. Okay, get some blue in. And a bit of cloud. Oh, uh, Blue. 
Ashi dog. I don't find the ultramarine in the common range to be very saturated, although it's only a student quality paint. Right, just put those. Okay, I do, I do all my skies quick, well most of them, because I'm a hake painter. Uh, put it tight. Board's about 30 degree. Oh, I've got two sheets there. Right, we'll soon alter that. Bear with me. I thought it was a bit heavy. Alright, let's just remove that one. And put this one back. I've been out on my bike this morning, I just as never get a, get, get a paper for the weekend with the TV pages. Football this afternoon, my team's playing uh, Leicester, I think. Free to air, so that's good because I haven't got Sky Sports. Uh, got a bit wrong there, but uh, never mind. If you if you fiddle around with these things too much, when as they're drying, you get the cauliflowers, the horrible, you know, the oasis it, like that. But uh, I might when that's dry. No, I won't do anything to that. I'll give it a dry anyway. So take your headphones off. <clears throat> Drying it off a bit stops it from going further into that area, into these horrible things there. <laughs> Sometimes they're effective, and as you know, I'm not a lover of lifting out the clouds. It looks too false, too 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 unnatural. If you're going to paint or have those sort of clouds, better to build up on a dry piece of paper, better quality than this. <laughs> Do it that way, like I don't know. In. Uh, but I, li I like the diffused effects of the skies. You can't always get it, or I can't always get it on this paper. But that's that's okay. So we'll have well. Now yeah, we've got a low horizon there, so we better use that and, and make the sky the feature. Uh, I'll put in some bit of background. Go up a bit there. Worst. I don't didn't want to lose all that cloud. I quite like that. That's a put in a bit of a bit of burnt sienna with that blue, and just come down down here. This is all peninsula. Warm up. Go in with all my stuff here. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. You never see that on my comments. It's not to anybody in particular, it's to me. Keep it simple, stupid. Kiss. A good mnemonic, that. Paints grey and a bit of light, well, a lot of light red. I 
I'm painting this dark because I'm going to scrape out a bit. And another technique you can overuse, and I've overused it many times. <coughs> Okay, let that go. Well, we'll put a little bit of bit of warmth in that so uh, background there. Right, okay, the bay. Clean the brush. Get the old card. Adjust to a bit of scraping. Now remember, a little goes a long way. something in, in this corner I think. Shake the brush. Get a bit of bit of green. Well, I'm going to dry that now. to start putting in some some impressions of uh, illusion of detail. Oh I'm not necessarily an illusion. We need some uh, nice Payne's grey, bit of cad yellow, bit of burnt sienna. I'm gonna start just oh I need a bit more water on the brush. The little, the medium romance and hake. It's the old one. Oh, well, that's a bit wet. Well, just a bit of foliage. Of a dry brush on there. Now I'm going to go further back now just to put a bit of a bluey tint. Just trying to loosen that a bit. I'm going to go back here. There's This hake is getting a bit sort of um, ragged at the end. Still, still a good, good brush though. Still working. Just 
nice and over there. Okay, that'll do this way. Oh, I'm gonna go up further with that uh, bit here. It's just a bit too even. You don't want symmetry, you want to just vary your shapes. Okay, that'll do. Uh, card. Last. It's dry underneath. This could stand for sails, all sorts of stuff in there. Why not? I think I can put a bit of a tree coming out of there. So let's uh, clean that brush. Get some nice dark green, but a warm green. So plenty of burnt sienna in it. Paints are lovely and sloppy. Almost out of a tube. Let's uh, just put in a bit dry, a bit wet. A bit of, bit of sienna there. Okay, that'll do. And got a bit of dark shadow underneath. Okay, card. I'll dry that off, I'm going to put some, uh, oh, I've got some stuff on my hair dry. I, of course, don't need a hair dry. Let's go back to the big hake, the large Royal Manson hake. We'll put in a bit of a trunkage. Some good dark in that base there. Right, I want to get a similar, not another tree, but I want to put uh, some dark green in down that bottom there. Bit of texture. Okay, right. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'm not, sh I should put a bit of dry brush on there, so I'll dry it off again. So, a bit of, oh dear. My top's come off.
these sort of dumpy trees, they remind me of being on Hailing Island a couple of years ago on the, on the sort of pebbly shore overlooking the Solent back to the mainland. Although it's attached by a road, Hailing Island, it's one of the peninsulas in the south of England between West Sussex and, uh, and Hampshire. You have uh, the Whittlings, uh, Bosham, Chidham, all these lovely peninsulas sticking out. It's all called the Chichester Harbour. And it's just, oh, it's just breathtakingly beautiful. Especially when you're looking back from an island, or a sort of an island, an isthmus. Right, let's uh, just get my little, my medium hake. Get a bit of that sky colour. Just a touch of blue, a touch of red. A bit of nondescript colour, and it's just... Mm, that's good. And I think we can just put a little bit of the reflection in some of that. Not a lot. Right, okay, I'm going to put a couple of birds in and call that done. There we go. Put them where the lights, the light is. Okay, I'll give that a signature. Put a mount on it. My daughter's coming with my daughter-in-law this morning. Coming for lunch, so I'm getting this one in before they do turn up. Because that can't be rude. My daughter lives um, in Dorking. Right in the middle of Dorking in this wonderful cottagey, old cottagey area surrounded by the ring road, by a inner ring road in, around Dorking, mostly one way. And they're in this, oh, this gorgeous oasis and looking out of their window, looking up Lanola Common in the Surrey Hills. And they often go riding their bikes in, in uh, up Leith Hill, they can, they can do that. And over Lanola Common, Box Hill, all in that area. Just a fabulous, wonderful town of Dorking. If you ever get a chance to visit, Go and visit. Uh, it's on the River Mole. Right, I'm just going to sort of find them out. Oh, there we are. Not bad, is it? You've probably seen this anyway, it doesn't look good either. Well, there we are, just a simple Lakeland scene, but the sky came out quite well on that. The aberration there, that's sort of half that's covered. So low horizon, and we've got these distant hills in the mist, clearing storm or shower. Uh, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching guys. Enjoy your weekend. I'll probably do one tomorrow morning. Uh, so there we are. Let's just take you up a bit so you can see in all of the mouth. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.